the dynamite hey everybody dynamite david here and welcome to the winning daily podcast college football gets into full swing as we start week one action and that's where i'm going to start with this week starting off i've got a couple plays on thursday night utah minus four versus florida i've got two units on that nc state big Two touchdown favorite, minus 14 and a half, minus 110 versus UConn. I've got two units on NC State as well. Friday, Michigan State, two touchdown favorite again over Central Michigan. Two units there. Uh, a team I really like, and I think they're going to win big over this one. This is one of my biggest plays. It's going to be my play of the week. Western Kentucky, minus 11 and a half versus South Florida. I think they're going to destroy them. Five units on that one. Uh, next up. Utah State versus Iowa. Utah State, not very good. I've take their under on my future show, but they're getting 24 against an Iowa team who struggles offensively at times. So I'm going to take the 24 points there, one unit. Moving on to my Vols, uh, I'm not taking Tennessee here, but I think the over is going to hit. It's at 56. Uh, I think that hit in the majority of the Tennessee Vols games last year. Uh, one unit play there, not heavy, but I wanted to have a play on my Vols. Next up, another dog. Large dog, Buffalo, plus 28 versus Wisconsin. One unit there. I think that's just a little high for a Buffalo team that's going to be playing pretty well and another team that struggles offensively in Wisconsin. Boise State getting 14.5 versus Washington. Washington may be one of the favorites to win the Pac-12, but I think Boise State found their offense and their quarterback at the end of last year. Getting over two touchdowns, I really like. One unit play there. North Texas. Plus six and a half versus Cal. I hate this Cal team. North Texas pretty solid. One unit play there. Another big unit play here. Three units. UTSA minus one and a half uh, versus Houston. I think Houston is uh, struggling. They're going to be really struggling in their new conference, and UTSA is going to take it out on them. Uh, I also like the over in this game. I took a one-unit play on that as well. UTSA struggles on defense a little bit, and Houston can move the ball some. Over 60 there, uh, one unit there. Uh, Illinois, I like Illinois. Minus 9.5 versus Toledo. Toledo may very well win the MAC, but this is a Big Ten team. Only 9.5 points isn't enough. Four-unit play there. Then we've got a... In, or a not in-state rivalry, neighbor state rivalry, South Carolina versus North Carolina. I'm going to take South Carolina on the money line, plus 108. I like the value there rather than uh, taking the points. Just go ahead and get a little bit more value at plus 108 to win. Two units there. And then South Alabama versus Tulane. I'm going to take the over 52, one unit play there. That wraps up all my college football in week one. And now let's move on to the soccer. Uh Starting off, we're going to go with a team that surprised me and, and, and went against some of my picks last week in West Ham. I'm going to take them to win versus Luton. Uh, it's only minus 115, and uh, West Ham, really good. Uh, Two-unit play there. Uh, and West Ham, I'm also going to take minus one and a half. Uh, this Luton team is pretty bad, and I think West Ham's going to figure out a way to get some goals. Uh, 230 there, one-unit play there. Then we're going on to my Spurs, Tottenham. I think they're going to keep things rolling off their hot start going into Burnley. Three-unit play, minus 115 on the three-way there. I'm also going to put a one-unit play on the minus one-and-a-half spread at plus 230, like my Tottenham Spurs to keep things rolling with their new coach. Um, Brentford, I'm going to take them to win on the three-way versus Bournemouth at minus 140. Two-unit play there. Uh, and then I've got a little uh, EPL, both teams to score parlay. Three games here where we're going to take both teams to score, parlay them all together. Uh, I've got Liverpool, Aston Villa, Brighton, Newcastle, and Arsenal, Man U. All both teams to score. Two unit play on that at uh, plus 209. Now we're going to get out of the EPL and go to my other favorite team, and Milan. I'm going to take them draw no bet versus Roma. Almost even money, and if it's a draw... You know, no harm, no foul, get my money back. Minus 115, two-unit play there. Next up, I'm going to take a little bit of a pyramid action in the Bundesliga in Leverkusen versus a really bad team in Darmstadt who was in Bundesliga 2 last year. I'm going to take Leverkusen goals over 2.5 at even, minus 106, three units. Leverkusen over 3.5, plus 260, one unit there. And Leverkusen over 4.5, plus 680. Half a unit on that one. Uh, let's see if we can get all three and, and finish off that pyramid. 
And then finally, I'm going to do it again, Union Berlin versus Leipzig. Uh, this isn't an uh, individual team total, but total games goals. Uh, I like the over 2.5 at even, plus 100. Three units there. I really like this one. Over 3.5, plus 250, one unit. And then finally, the over 4.5 at plus 670, half a unit play there. I think we're going to see some goals. A lot of these Bundesliga games have had a lot of goals. That wraps up my winning daily for this week. Be sure to check out all of our other podcasts. We just wrapped up our college football futures. We'll drop that probably before this show comes out. So look for that. Be sure to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for Champ Chesterfield's picks. That's it. for Boom goes the dynamite.